guys, Bradham73 here. Welcome back to another episode of Gold Rush. And as always, don't forget to hit that like button. Hit what? what, what. <laughs> God, uh, I can't even start off an episode right. Um, don't forget to hit that like button. Uh, hit that subscribe button for this and many, many more vi uh, videos that hopefully I won't screw up on. I just woke up um, just a little while ago and I thought, Man, I really want to do some recording, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, now, a couple things I probably don't need. Well, no, I'll keep those running. <clears throat> and... Shoot, I think I set up all the lights out here, too, didn't I? Yep. Yep, I did. There we go. All right. Oh, did I ever bring the fuel truck? I don't think I brought the fuel truck over or the fuel tank. Nope, shut it off. Um, nope, there's the other fuel tank. So let's go get that because I think I need to refuel the front loader, don't I? <clears throat> I think I do. Just pop that over there. So I'm going to be doing a full clean out in this episode. Um, let's see. I think I'll park this right behind. <clears throat> right. Golly. You can tell I am just woke up because my throat is all. <laughs> ah. um, yeah, I'm going to park this right over here by the trailer, I think. Right behind the lights. Right there is probably pretty good. What? I wonder how far out this will reach. I wonder if I'll be able to reach the fuel tank over there. That would be awesome if I could. No way. I cannot believe I can reach all the way over there. So yeah, we're going to be doing like two full cleanouts this episode. So should be pretty freaking awesome. Especially if the last episode was anything, you know. What did we get the last episode? Almost 90 ounces, like 87 or 88 ounces. So if we got, oh my gosh, that thing's already half empty. Okay. Back to work then. <clears throat> now I do think I'm going to take down some of this. So we're just going to... Uh, Because I, I like, I actually want to see how far down this is gonna slope. Like, will I? Will it, is it gonna be steep enough that I'm gonna have to? Um. Be you know, be vigilant. See, see, it's going down pretty steep, but it might, it might not be really that steep. Now this this dirt here, this pay dirt that I'm working on is not really that great, I don't think. Now 
Yeah, see how that's sloping down? Not, I don't really foresee that as being a, a big problem, but more something that we just need to be aware of. Um, the other thing I wanted to do, which I haven't done yet, gotta go to parcel two. I really wish that defaulted to the map that you're on. Uh, 6.8. <clears throat> See how quick we're burning through all the good gold, though? There's more in the back here. But see, this is only like four and a half, five meters deep. So it's not as deep as what we're used to. So I think we may end up burning through this gold pretty quick. But hopefully it'll be just enough to get us that, the new shaker, whatever the heck the thing's called, I always forget what it's called. Here I am, needing to zoom out again. Oh, come on. So I think maybe in between episodes, like when you save the game and come back, it seems like the the claim kind of smooths itself out a little bit. I don't know if that's true or not, but it just kind of seems like it does. Okay. Come on, back up, baby. got to do this 10 times at least so we got <laughs> we got to get get her going here I think there might actually still be a little bit of pay dirt in the um in the shaker Okay. There we go. Do do do. I, I really wish they would have had more DLCs available for this game. I really do. Uh, come on now. Stop it, Dirt. You're making me look bad. There we go. <laughs> I just, I love how when you back up the, you know, if you're not... If, if your wheels are kind of skipping, your backup horn kind of skips as well. Okay. So we're just going to drive right up. I feel like I need to have another light over here. Let's go ahead and kick this on. 
And I think I still have a, a light up here that's not being utilized. Yeah, this guy right here. And I'm probably going to need to find another power cord. Okay, there's power cables right there. <clears throat> I have no idea if this is... Oh, cool. Oh, you know what? You know what I just realized? Even though I can shine that out there... Oh, wait, why, why don't those have... Oh, gosh. Okay, there we go. I'm glad I saw that before I realized what was going on. See, that's another reason why I want to to maybe use the big water tower here. And I, you know, I know I can buy the water tower right now, but do I have, wait? Do I have any generators that I'm not using? You know what? I bet there's generators over at the other claim. <clears throat> anyway, what I was going to do... Is I was going to hook this light up here. Uh... Heck. There we go. See, and that kind of lights up this area a bit more. Wait, is this thing still unloading? Oh my gosh. The downside of that light is <clears throat> it's going to go out as soon as I turn the generator off. Now some people say, you know, why don't you, instead of, um, uh, okay, I got the lights on now. Instead of just turning off the, the one big power switch, why don't you turn off everything individually? My response to that is, it's just more work. I have to hit five buttons instead of one, and I'm lazy. But I guess I could, you know, to appease you guys, I guess I could technically do that, you know. Is the shaker empty? What's my dude working on? What's my repair guy working on? Do I... I don't see him working on... Oh, 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 oh. I don't see him working on anything. So yeah, we have to go... Doo, 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 doo. Just like that. And I also think it might increase the wear on those switches. That I'm not 100% sure of, but it wouldn't surprise me in this game. Okay, so we're going to come down here. I think the biggest thing right now is that we end up wasting time on... <clears throat> um, backing up because that ground is so rough. So 
So I want to go right over here, like that. Zoom out a little bit. 49%. All right, that's pretty good. So, four more scoops. So this will be, well, three more technically, since this is the first of the remaining four. So let's let's say let's estimate that we get 160 ounces. I think we're actually going to get closer to 170 here, but um, we're going to say the heck that was like an awful scoop. So if we take like 160, multiply that by 1,200. What does that come up to? I don't have my calculator. Well, I, I could use my phone, but... But it's so much work. So put down in the, in the comments how much money I'm gonna have by the end of this episode. Yeah, I must have gotten a bad scoop in there somewhere. <clears throat> a really bad one. This is going to get us up to like 95%. Okay. All right, so now we got to hit five switches. Uh. There we go. What's well, 1855 in the game day here, and I'm kind of wondering, am I going to be able to get a clean out done before midnight? Or not really a clean out, but just a, you know, a load in. There we go, 12 ounces. All right, so I'm gonna kinda take this right here. I almost feel as though I should try to 
back the uh, the dump truck down so I don't need to back up as far, but... Uh, it's just so uneven down there that... <laughs> that might be more of a waste of time. Okay, we'll do one more scoop and then we'll uh, turn off the wash plants. And I need to kind of figure out what, what our maintenance guy is working on repairing. Okay, I want to do one other thing. I want to toggle. I'm just going to toggle these squares really quick. So the way I understand the game mechanics is that with the standard shaker, you basically only get half the gold that you, <clears throat> that you would get with the tier five. So tier three shaker, you know, is only like a, you know, you're only being able to process you know, 50% of the gold through that shaker. And the tier four stuff is like 75%. And then the tier three stuff is obviously, you know, 100%. So that is kind of why I want to get the tier two shaker so that we can um, get as much uh, gold as we possibly can. There we go. You know what? I said I was gonna. Uh, I said I was gonna turn off the wash plant. Boy, was I wrong. So <clears throat> we're going to start off, I wonder, but th the thing I don't know is, does the, does the better wash plant affect everything downstream? That is what I don't know. Because it might, it might not, I just don't know. And I'm really going to try on this claim to go from like the top down instead of digging sideways like I have been on old Arnold. Again, I don't really, I don't, I'm not one of those people that believes that that results in gold loss, but you know, I'm, I'm not a hundred percent sure. So All right, so this is, is this the third, is this the third, 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 is this the third load? Yeah, that's the third load then.
we go. I need to get, need to get a drink of coffee here. Mm. Okay. Oh, come on. All right, so we're going to continue in that direction. I think, yep. Yeah. I'm going to have to zoom out. And it's dark back here, so it's kind of hard to see. I'm going to kind of go up there. There we go. So I think once I kind of get down to where the bottom is and I can get a better understanding of that, then we might start, you know, digging down these slopes. Because I literally have no idea what to expect. just want to get a full 180 I'd love to get like 160 170 maybe even 180 ounces I don't think it's going to go to up to 180 uh oh 180 ounces would be like if we got 90 on that last clean out in the last episode that would be pretty huge oh I guess I should turn my lights on eh Okay, wash plants off. Okay. Come on now. I'm trying to. Is that full now? Now it is. Okay, so two more scoops until we have to do the swap on the small mats and the duplex jig. Perfect. All 
All right, one more scoop. I think that's a full scoop. Let's find out. Yeah, I think that's a full scoop. All right. No, I don't want half of it off to the side somewhere. There we go. I'm kind of regretting the placement of that generator. Only slightly. It's just that when the surface is uneven like this, it makes it more difficult to, <clears throat> you know, to actually do the scoops. And I don't trust the, the um, what is it, the, um, the bulldozer to, like, flatten it out and grade because I, like, a long time ago, the bulldozer would actually destroy the gold. And it was confirmed by the developers at the time. And I don't know if that's ever been changed, you know, to allow it to maybe push gold from one tile to the next. I just don't know. Okay. I think there's a like a short wire in that backup uh, horn there. It just cuts in and out with like no regard for human life. It, it's almost like it cuts out when the tires slip or something. Does that make sense? Oh. All right, so we're almost to the first clean out. Well, not clean out, but 
But you know, the first swap out, I guess we could say. <clears throat> Come on. I'm really hoping that that goes at least twice as deep, if not more, because obviously that means more gold. <laughs> All right, so two more scoops. So I'm just going to kind of go over here. Can't see anything back there. You might get a full hundred percent off of this. I don't know. We'll see. Here goes. Nope. I'm so disappointed. Okay, so we should be up to, yeah, 81% there. I kind of get the feeling that it's not going to swap everything out. Like, I think we're going to be like 1% short or something. Oh, come on. There you go. Okay, good on the first one. just a tad okay two very good scoops
Oh. This is starting to become painful. Oh, there we go. Okay, so that's still not... Okay, so that's 98%. That one's been swapped. Those have been swapped. <clears throat> Whoops. So let's just continue. Let's carry on. Getting, I don't think we're getting good gold from pressing up against that cliff back there, so... I'm just telling, I'm just talking out loud here. Uh... Okay. Very good scoops this time. There we go. So I'm hoping this will get us up to about 74% or 75, 75 preferably. Okay, 74. So two more scoops, and then we'll only have to get like four, well, well, we'll probably end up getting five more scoops anyway, but. <clears throat> oh, come on. Ah! That's what happens when I try to drink coffee and drive at the same time. <laughs> okay, one more scoop. So we earned 87 ounces, 87.22 ounces in the last episode. Uh oh. Ooh, I just realized I'm almost, <laughs> I almost had a fuel.
Didn't we just fill this up at the beginning of the episode? Pretty sure we did. Oh, Omga. <clears throat> okay, I'm just going to dump all this off. Okay, so we're going to see that, uh, that, yep, bucket, and I'm going to see if the rest of these buckets are at 100, nope, 99%. All right, so let's go a little bit longer. Okay, that's what I wanted to see. I wanted to see that I'm losing gold. Uh-oh, i got to fill this guy back up over here, I guess. Uh, it's so dark. Okay. Don't really need any fuel down here. Um... All right, so we get to swap those. With these. And then these will have to get dumped out into this. And actually, whoop. we're going to see how much magnetite is in there. Seventy-five. Okay, so that's a little bit lower <clears throat> than the last time. However, let's see here. Oh, whoops. I'm still going to hope for, you know, 150 to 160 ounce clean out here. So let's just run back up here. I think we'll get about eight ounces, maybe less. I don't know. Okay, we can shut this guy off. Okay, 10.7, that's better than I had expected. Okay, so we're gonna go click, click, no, wrong click. 
So we still have, yeah, we got a bunch of gold in here. Oh gosh, no, no, no. Detach the fuel nozzle, yes. How many times have I been guilty of not doing that? More times than I would like to admit. That's, that I can guarantee. And I'm sure many of you have been witness to that as well. Ugh. Okay, so I'm going to just kind of go up into this area. zoom out. Man, I really wish there was a way to easily zoom the view from the controller, and unfortunately, there's just not. Okay, so we'll back up, turn, uh. turn the wash plant off. No. I just just by force of habit I always when I go back into a vehicle I always you know turn the engine on, turn the lights off or on or whatever. Typically on. And <laughs> I screw myself up. That's okay. Uh. Okay, so we're up to 60, so four-ish more scoops. Off-roading is real. Okay, so we're going to kind of take a layer off the top here. If I can zoom out enough to see what the heck I'm doing.
right, so we, the next one will give us about 97%. Okay. Off we go to the hopper. I don't feel like I'm lined up quite properly. Okay, I don't know why <laughs> I just went over to the truck like that, but I did. So what do I have to do now? Three more loads? I think we have to do three more loads. Okay. Uh, kind of, I feel like I shouldn't have gone down there. Oh my gosh. Stop, Brad, stop. I should like swap those around a little bit so that they're all like in order. There we go. Get some more light back here. It should be daylight pretty soon. You can already see, we can see the trees. Eight days to winter. Come on.
61. That's good. That's what I want to see. Seventy-three. Oh, well, I guess technically that was twelve percent. Each scoop is roughly twelve percent. I'm not exactly sure how I would do the math to prove exactly what it's supposed to be. If it's like twelve point five, or you know, twelve point one, or tw just twelve. I don't know. Because it seems like sometimes we actually get more than that. And a lot of times we get less. Okay, 98%. Let's go ahead and take that up to the hopper again. No, 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 no. I don't want that on. Kind of helps if I start it, doesn't it? <laughs> I mean, color me silly, but I think the wash plan has to be on for it to work. Oh, wrong one. So what are we at? So 37%. All right. So yeah, we're definitely going to have to do an extra load at the end. So, so we really need to do three more loads. Unfortunately. Ugh. <sighs> Come on, Brad. There we go, get those lights on. I do feel like driving the dump truck back here, though. I just don't want to. <laughs> Twenty four. Come on, I'm just like trying to get it down. There we go. I would almost take a loan out to get the, the better shaker, but that would be stupid. 
37. We're getting good scoops. But I do get people that are like, take a loan, take a loan. And I'm like, no. Because then you spend the whole time paying back the loan. The only time a loan makes sense is when you only need like, you know, twenty or thirty thousand dollars, and you can pay it back over five days or something like that. But once you get up into the big amounts, no, it's just absolutely stupid. And you, you've heard me say it many, many times. And I mean, it's not like we have a, you know, we can only be here for eight years. Or something like that, or, you know, it's not like the game has a time limit. You just keep going and going until the time runs out, I guess. 62. All right, so we're actually ahead of the scoop curve here. Um, let's, whoops. Okay, so we're at 55%. So, yeah, we need, like, two more scoops. Three more scoops, sorry. I said I said two, right? <laughs> I've already forgotten. Don't drive into the hole, Brad. Oh. Go, go, go. Okay. Go. I just wish that was nice and smooth going down. Then we could, we wouldn't have these backup issues. 99, see what I, see what I'm saying? Like we got really good scoops that time. Bam, 99%. I don't get it. I don't get it. Okay. All right, so 55, so that should give us up, get us up to around 75. The next one's gonna get us up probably 84, 85%. And then, um, so we, basically we only need like another load and a half really. So let's see here, hold on, let's go to the gold map. Oh, man, I never did that one, did I? So if I toggle that square, though... Oh, daggone it. I should have I should have done these other two. See, I don't think I'm going to get really anything from those.
so there's there's a bad bucket there, but we don't really know if it's bad. Bad bucket, bad. Okay. Are we full? We might be full. All right, let's shut this down. So 73%. So yeah, if we get approximately 20% off of the next load, that'll put us at 93. Usually we don't get a full 20%. We get about 18 to 19%. So we'll say 91. So yeah, we're going to need another load and a half to kind of get us through this episode and then we're gonna have a freaking epic clean out you guys the clean out of epicness I mean, it would even be cool if they had, you know, some kind of dirt physics or better dirt physics where, like, the tires would create ruts or something as you drove. Or at least helped kind of flatten things out a little bit. But we don't, so we don't. I'm just throwing out ideas here. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe somebody at Code Masters watches my video. Or Co no, not Code Masters. Code Horizons. Code Masters is like a... Didn't Codemasters used to make, like, 3D, or not 3D, but, like, real-time strategy games? Like, World War II real-time strategy games or something? I don't know. It seems like it's a company that has long since been defunct, but I don't know. Co Codemasters, that's what I'm talking about. Not Code Horizons. Hopefully they're still around and working on Gold Rush too, but who knows? I do not, unfortunately. <laughs> Look at that dark orange there. That's what I like to see. Do, do, do. 
99%. I love it. I love it, mate. All right. Man, I wish I had more coffee. So here we really only need about half a load. Hello. I know we're driving down in the hole, which I don't want to do, but I kind of have to. Zoom out a bit. That was a nice scoop. I feel good about that one. Oh, I'm <laughs> full. I'm like, why am I not going forward? Your bucket's full, you dummy. Okay. Come on, move. There we go. Ah, come on. Ah. This is frustrating. Okay, I think we're full though.
Ah, sorry. <laughs> My ear itches like crazy. Okay. It's probably time I clean out like all the insects and spiders and lice and all that kind of stuff from inside my ear cups, right? <laughs> Everybody's like, ew, Brad, that's gross. You haven't smelled them yet. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. That's so disgusting. I actually, um, I use a Logitech G35 headset, which I've had for several years now. And I, they come with like these you know, it's supposed, it's probably supposed to be leather, but it's more of like a, a you know, plasticized, fake leather, pla pleather kind of stuff. And they, you know, basically when I would clean them, it would degrade the rubber. Because I, I, you know, I use isopropyl alcohol to clean the inside of my uh, earpieces, as you should do because um, it basically kills bacteria and all that good stuff. Um, but but it when you use it, it breaks down, it can break down plastics. And so I actually went on to like eBay or Amazon or something and I bought these really nice cloth um, covers for my that are for the G35s and a bunch of other Logitech headsets. They're actually kind of tight to put on the G35, but I digress. Um, let's see, back, there we go. We'll go ahead and just start loading this up. Uh, let's see, I should, I should kind of concentrate more on the distant ones. Why are you being so distant with me? But anyway, um, the the nice thing about these cloth ones it's it's, it's kind of just like a fabric over top you know the little spongy earpiece part and um i can just throw them right in the i can just throw them right in the washer with a load of wash put them in the dryer and bang oh. oh of course wrong way Is everybody at 100? ST sluice box has been swapped. Okay. Oh, nice. It kind of kept bouncing until it would bounce no more. All right. So let's go ahead and take these up first. Oh, come on. Ooh, I can actually reach that one now. See how this is like shaking around? It's like, oh, I don't know what to do. Ah, so okay, so the so he's fixing that spring right there. That's what he's doing. And look, he's up to fifty four percent on that. So win for him. Great, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to get it closer. The only bad part about these small mats is that they're smaller and harder to target when you're trying to pick them up. Okay, is that all? No, nope, one more. All right, so we'll come right over here. Go ahead and... Is that working? Yes. Okay. All 
Alright, where's the other crate? Where did I put the other crate? I thought I had two crates over here. I don't know. Can you put or can you remove mats while the machine is in operation? to find out. Yes, apparently you can. Nice. All right. So, finished. Okay, so let's kick all these on. Oh, there's the other one up there. Okay. 87 ounces, not bad. Oh, I love being able to reach that that first one right there cuz on the on the other claim it was always a p real pain. Okay, so we're going to get all these buckets here, I, I guess. Oh my gosh. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Boom. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> Stop it. Five point four two ounces. Seventy six ounces of magnetite. 5.44 ounces. So basically, <clears throat> we're getting thir over 30 ounces, 30 to 35 ounces off of these magnetite, uh, or off of the duplex jigs, I'm sorry. Okay. 
Okay, I should totally do that for picking these up next time. Okay. Next up are these guys. Oh, I need to turn the water off, don't I? Pretty sure this one will do it. Yep. I got to turn the uh, water off because... We'll lose gold in these mats, I think, if I don't. those out. Okay. And then let's see. Okay, the Noogie Tater is done. Uh, let's see, let's pick this up. Nope. He didn't like me. No one does. <laughs> All right. Um, grab that one and we'll go up. Bring this one up top and we'll get all these cleaned out and... Hopefully have tons and tons of money. Maybe. Forgot to empty all these out. Water pump filter has been destroyed. What? Uh oh. Okay, that's not good. <clears throat> so that means, yeah, that that's going to stop. Um, actually, everything stops. Did I bring a water pump over? I don't think I brought the web of all the things. Of all the things, I don't think I brought the water pump filter over. Um, well, let's go.
Let's go buy a reinforced water fr uh, pump filter. Uh. And I think I'm going to buy a few more of the reinforced um, generator. Yeah, these guys. Uh, reinforced water pump filter. Ah. Not sure if there's anything else I'm going to need while I'm up here, but let's go ahead and buy this and get out of here. Order. So we can continue doing the clean out and then sell this gold and see how much money we get, right? Right. All right, back to the claim. Boom. Ooh, somebody wants to work for me. Please, please let it be another another work but like a maintenance guy please all right so we're back in business there oh there we go if i could just get one more maintenance dude i would be so freaking happy awaiting Front and loader, dump truck. Wait, do I have a guy on the dump truck? What, what does the dump truck guy do? I've already got a dump truck guy. Okay. Well, so much for the dump truck guy. Magnetite set. Oh my gosh. I still think it is awesome that we can take these out while it's running and put them, probably put them back in too. <clears throat> I'm going to come back and uh, we're going to redo all those, but I want to continue with this. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Boom. Oh, really? That's okay. So that's empty. So after we do this one, this bucket will be ready to dump into the magnetite separator. I'm hoping that we get over 600 ounces of magnetite but who knows I certainly do not seven hundred and eleven wow Well, honestly, I've been incredibly underwhelmed by how little gold we've gotten so far. I thought we would have cleared more than... Fifty ounces. That's it. 
Oh my gosh. I mean, we're up to 100 ounces, but, you know, are we even going to get 20 ounces off of this one little clean out right here? I'm not thinking so. And to be honest, I have to say that I'm a little disappointed. We might have had some, you know, some of those buckets may not have been good, as good as I thought. Or, yeah, it's the scoops may not have been good. Now, we got tons of, yeah, 242, so that's probably 14 ounces, 16 ounces. No, it's going to be more than that, I think. 17 ounces so wow that's way less than what I thought we would get what we would have gotten way way super less so color me disappointed but I'm definitely disappointed I I, I mean I thought I, I genuinely thought we that we would be up around 160 ounces. And I mean, we got lots of magnetite, but geez. Okay, so let's go ahead. Um, let's go ahead and just put everything away here. Uh, Oh, Okay, and we're going to chuck that over there. I just want to get all this finished and set up so that when we go to, we're going to go to town here in a second, and we'll be able to not have to worry about coming back in the next episode, making sure everything is set up properly. If that makes any sense. Okay. Couple more. Come on now. Okay, so that's all good. Uh, we will have to turn the water back on up there. Not a big deal at this point. Um, we're all cleaned out. All right. So we'll take the magnetite over to the magnetite factory. Is there, so, is there such a thing as a magnetite factory? And if so, would it be this big? Okay, I got the magnetite bucket in there. Okay, it's noon. All right, to the blacksmith. And let's see here, upgrade 6,000, 8,000. Okay, so we've got a while to go. Um, worst case scenario, let's see, sell magnetite. 
28,000. That's not bad. Or no, 21,000. Oh, sorry, I was looking at that. 21,608, not too bad. All right, so we're going to smelt our gold ingot, which unfortunately, man, I can't, I can't believe. So what it, so 117, I'm just going to do 117 times 1,200. So that's 140,400. So we'll, we're, we'll get a little bit more than that, but probably not too much. If we got 150,000, I'd be shocked. Okay, 114.6, that's even less. So gold bars, yeah, 140,000. Man, I was almost on the money. So $358,000. So if let's do let's do this. 358 thousand plus 140,000. So that's four hundred and ninety-eight thousand dollars. Man, if we could just get that next shaker, let's just drive over here. I want to see how much it is again. And it's this one right here. Whoa. So we, if we get another 140,000, we'll have enough to be able to afford it. Nice. Okay. And then this guy, one point. Wow. And then we could get this right now. But I think I'm going to, I'm going to, this one, the reinforced trauma is so inexpensive that I think I'm going to just go for that af, like next after that. So that is going to be it for this episode um come back when we do the same thing again try to get more money so we can buy that upgraded shaker whatever what is it called again <laughs> the rock the rocker the hard rocker oh it's oh great so we're not gonna be a, so we're thunderstorm again not gonna be able to use the laptop wonderful I'm going to go ahead and fill that up. Oh, and let's do... should have just gone ahead and shut this off. Uh, bam. <clears throat> I'm just going to do a scoop here. Ah! Or, well, not... We're not going to do the scoop. We're just going to do that. Um, and then, hello. And then, I don't know if I'm going to... Can I drive up through here? Yeah. Yeah, I think I've got enough room. Oh, it's tight, but I got enough room. And whoa. What the heck? <laughs> All right. So let's go back and fill this up. I like how there's like a little shelf there. Like once we get the water tower fixed, I think that'll be a, a good place to... Um, 
put the uh, the water tanks, like our reserve water tanks. Like we, tip, we, we technically don't need them this time of year, like in the fall, because you know we, it doesn't dry up. Unless it freezes over, then it could be a problem. But other than that, it's not really a big issue. So, oh my gosh, we've been going for almost two hours. How? How does it? How does a single clean out go for two hours? It must be taking a lot longer because of all the the irregularities in the in the soil to uh, to do that. Because it does feel like I've been going for a really long time. Um, so I don't know. Maybe I'll have to do a clean out one episode, then a the the digging the next episode and <laughs> coming back to the clean out. All right. So we'll take this back over and we will be finished. And I will have a really long rendering time apparently. That's so silly. I mean, lightning's really not going to affect your mobile signal unless lightning literally struck the the mobile tower and the mobile tower literally got knocked off every time there's a lightning storm, which honestly, I don't think that happens. I really don't. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it. Um, don't forget to leave a like. Helps me out tremendously uh leave a comment let me know how i am doing or how you are doing and uh if you have not done so which i don't know why you wouldn't have um subscribe for this and many more videos this has been gold rush i am bradham 73 thanks again for watching and bye for now